Hello there! <laughs> In today's video we are going to talk more about caring for a disabled butterfly and I'm going to talk about my experiences. I'm not a professional, but hey, <laughs> maybe I can help. So first things first, you need to make a cage, a safe place where the butterfly can stay. What I did is I put a skewer or a chopstick if you want to call it that and I placed it through a plastic holder after making holes. Then I also paid a lot of attention to what flowers Lucky really liked and what plants he really liked to sit on. For example, Lucky really liked daisies and he also really liked succulent plants. And there was specifically this one plant um, that actually acted like a ladder for Lucky and he could easily navigate around his cage, which also made me more peaceful since I knew that if something were to happen, Lucky was hungry or anything like that and I wasn't there in the night, that he can easily just climb up and get the food that he needs. Speaking of food, Lucky loves honey. So what I did is that I allowed Lucky to rest on my hand and I would add a tiny drop of honey for him to slurp up. If you're struggling to get your butterfly to go to the honey to eat, you can always try adding a tiny drop of honey on his feet, since butterflies actually have taste buds on their feet. That way, if your butterfly is hungry, he would find the honey and go slurp it up. It's also important to watch your butterfly while he's eating because it's really easy for them to flutter into the honey and get all sticky and you do not want that. I found that the best feeding method for me and Lucky was by placing him on my hand and feeding him that way. I had much more control over him so if he were to flutter and fall then I was there to catch him and he wouldn't get as badly hurt as he would have. While doing research on how to take care of a butterfly I came across quite a few methods of feeding. It's important to go do your own research, since not all butterflies are the same. Learn and figure out what works for you and your butterfly, and do that through trial and error. One of the methods I tried was diluting honey with a ton of water, and then you would add this mixture onto cotton. This method didn't work for me, but when I thought a little bit more about it, I realized that I probably should have fluffified the cotton a bit more because the cotton was probably too dense for Lucky to actually reach the honey. Another method that worked great when I didn't want to get my hands all dirty was by taking an apple, slicing it up and taking a toothpick and mushing the apple. I also sometimes added water and honey to the apple and then mushed it all together and Lucky seemed to love it because it simulates flour. I tried adding honey directly on a flower though and that was a total mess. I totally would not recommend that. Handling a disabled butterfly correctly is so important. Remember they can't fly so you have to manually take them to flowers. Like I mentioned feeding while Lucky rested on my hand worked great for us. When you pick up your butterfly, don't force him onto your finger. Let him climb up himself and be very patient. It can take quite a while. And the same thing goes with putting him on a flower. Be gentle and let him go at his own time and his own pace. It's also important to not force him to go where you want him to go, since it could actually really badly hurt him and we don't want that. Since butterflies recharge in the sun, they gain more energy to fly. What actually happens is their body temperature rises a lot, and this causes them to be able to fly. But because he can't fly, he flutters around and is prone to falling. Always keep your hand nearby to catch him, and make sure he is safe and happy. Anywho. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. Do you have a disabled butterfly? Or did you have one in the past? If you have any tips and tricks, please let us know in the comments down below. Feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Sending lots of smiles, until next time.